Hi, my name is Lisa. So Eckhart Tolle once said, true intelligence operates silently. Stillness is where creativity and solutions to problems are found. And I think that's so true and so profound in a way in which when we are in a space where we don't know what's going to happen next, or we're in a space of stillness, specifically right now we're in the midst of a pandemic and we all have to literally stay home in stillness, I think it's a great opportunity to find clarity into who you are, into what you want. This is where creativity comes up. This is where problems to solutions are found. Today's yoga class is going to challenge you to hold poses so that you can train your mind, not just to be strong on the mat, but off the mat as well. So if you can really focus your breath, your energy, and your intention on the mat, when you walk off this mat, you can apply the same principles to any obstacles that come your way because life is full of ebbs and flows. But if you can allow yourself to ride the waves of life, everything else will fall into place. So with that, let's go ahead and lie on down. And just come to tune on in to the breath and to the body, grounding on down. Take a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. Just take a moment of gratitude for diving on into your practice. Maybe take a moment to meditate on why this specific class may have called to you. And just tune on into the breath, tune on into the body, tune on into how you feel at the present moment. The still floor underneath the body, underneath your yoga mat. And go ahead and begin to set an intention for yourself, maybe going off the theme of stillness being op an opportunity to find solutions, to get to know yourself and what you need and what you want out of life. So whatever that intention is, go ahead and set it. And with that intention in mind, take a nice big deep inhale into the body. And exhale. Go ahead, gently float the eyes open. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and bend the right knee and bend the left knee so that the feet are planted on the mat. And then you're going to tilt the pubic bone up towards the ceiling and feel for the back of the heels with the fingertips. Go ahead, ground down through the fingertips, ground down through the ball and the heel of the foot. And just take a nice big deep inhale, lift and press into the feet and lift the hips slightly. And then exhale, go ahead, slowly lower on down. This is just a warm up. So inhale, just lift them to a point where you feel a gentle edge and exhale, release and just begin to continue. Just continue with lifting the hips and lowering at your own pace. Every time you lift the hips, you press into the feet and engage the glute muscles. Every time you lower, you lower with control, drawing the navel on in towards the spine, breathing in and exhaling. Last big deep inhale and exhale. 
And when you're ready, go ahead, inhale, lift the hips on up nice and high, breathe. Exhale, go ahead, slowly lower all the way on down, vertebrae to vertebrae. Go ahead, draw the knees in towards the chest, begin to trace circles with the knees to get into the lower back. One way, and then the opposite direction. And when you're absolutely ready, go ahead, slowly, Begin to send the ankles in alignment with the knees and rock and roll on up till you come to a comfortable seated position or you come into Navasana boat pose. Now, if you can't rock and roll on up to seated position because the spine may be a little bit fused or the back doesn't feel good doing it, just roll onto your side and then press on up to your comfortable seated position. But if not, come to see if you can dive on into Navasana with me, boat pose. Woo, all right. So we're landing right on those sit bones. We're drawing the navel on in. We're activating through the feet. Melt the shoulders away from the ears. Send the fingertips on forward. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale to hold. Inhale. And exhale. Now if you need to lower the feet, you can go ahead and do so at any point. Last big deep breath in. And exhale. And go ahead, slowly place the hands down onto the mat, cross the feet underneath, and let's come into our tabletop position. If you have blocks, you can go ahead and play with them. And if you have a blanket, you could use that as well. Go ahead, spread the fingertips nice and wide, curl the toes under, take a nice big deep inhale, tilt the pelvis forward and down. Soften the belly down towards the yoga mat and roll the gaze forward and up. Exhale, tops of feet come to the floor, roll through the vertebrae, chin comes towards the chest. Inhale, sending the belly on down, roll the gaze forward and up. Exhale, tops of feet come to the floor, roll through vertebrae, chin comes towards chest. Breathing and sending the belly on down, pressing to the fingertips, rolling the gaze. And exhale. Last time. And exhaling. When you're absolutely ready, come back into neutral tabletop, curl the toes under and lift the knees off the mat in hovering table. Send the heels forward and back, getting some strength in the arms, keeping a slight bend in the elbows and then spinning the inner elbows in towards one another. Breathing on in and exhale. Last big deep breath in and exhale. When you are ready, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath into your downward facing dog as you gaze between the feet, the calf muscles, round the shoulders towards the rib cage, send the tailbone on up nice and high, big deep inhale and exhale. And just hold the pose, embrace the stillness of this practice. We will be holding postures throughout this sequence, so just breathe. Focus on your intention when it gets challenging. And always feel free to back out when you need to. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. And go ahead, slowly step the right foot in between the hands. Ground down through the left fingertips. Come up onto the left ball of the foot. Sweep the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Hold, breathing in. Exhaling. Keep sending the left hip nice and high. Inhale. Exhale. And go ahead, sweep the right hand on down. Step the left foot to meet the right. Let's come into Utkatasana by sitting into the back of your imaginary chair, drawing the navel on in, grounding down through the heels of the feet, sweeping the fingertips forward and up. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Keep sending the pubic bone towards the navel. Just really ground down and stay strong. Engage the abdominals, keep grounding down through the heels of the feet. Lift all 10 toes off the yoga mat, big deep breath in. Exhale, sigh out. And when you are absolutely ready, sweep the hands all the way on down. Gently step the right foot on back, ground down through the right fingertips, sweep the left hand all the way on up towards the ceiling, inhaling and exhaling. Breathing on it and exhale. Last big deep inhale here. Exhale, sweep the left hand on down. Step the left foot to meet the right and plank pose. Hold your plank, draw the navel on in. Find your sit bone heel connection so that the hips aren't too high or too low. Keep pressing the floor away with the fingertips. Slight bend in the elbows, breathing in. Exhale, stay strong. 
If we can stay strong on the yoga mat, not knowing what comes next, we can begin to take that energy off the yoga mat as well. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead, slowly release the knees on down. Slowly bend the elbows, lowering the heart in between the hands. And inhale into baby cobra, melting the shoulders away from the ears. Take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale, curl toes under, press up and back. Downward facing dog. Okay, let's go ahead, inhale the right heel all the way up towards the ceiling in three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, step the right foot in between the hands. Release the left knee all the way on down towards the yoga mat. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other and sweep the fingertips forward and up. Bring the first finger and thumb together and go ahead, draw the elbows in towards the shoulders. Inhaling and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. All right, go ahead, hold. See if you can interlace fingers behind the head. First finger and thumb are free. Cross the thumbs, reach up and over. Do not drop back in the neck. Keep sending the hips forward and down as you reach up and over. Two more breaths. Last big deep inhale and exhale. And go ahead, sleep the hands all the way on down. Walk the hands back towards the hips. If you have blocks, go ahead, take a hold of your blocks, walk them back towards the hips. Slide, wiggle, or place the left foot on forward. Inhale to rise through head, neck, and chest, lengthening. And exhale to fold forward, making sure that that right hip, or I should say left hip, is over the knee. The chin is towards the chest, the nose is towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen from tailbone to the crown of the head. And exhale to fold just a little bit deeper. Breathing in and sighing it out. You can go as low as you need to. You can walk the hands as far forward. That's what feels good. Just hold, let the flexibility grow with every inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, go ahead, ground down through the left hand, sweep the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling in a twist and sweep the right hand all the way on down. Slide the ankle underneath the knee, move the blocks away. Go ahead, ground down through the right foot and the fingertips, lift the left knee off the yoga mat and then sweep the fingertips up nice and high. Go ahead, see if you can send the left elbow underneath the right. You can either give yourself a hug or you can come into eagle arms, melting the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, sweeping the fingertips up and exhale, melt the shoulders down. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up. Exhale, melt. Keep the hips nice and square. Keep hugging the inner thighs in towards each other, breathing on it. And exhale. When you are ready, go ahead, bring the hands to prayer. Thumbs connecting to the heart. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right leg. Ooh, work the thumbs towards the heart, heart towards the thumbs, gazing up towards the ceiling. You can always bring that knee on down if it doesn't feel good. Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale. And when you are ready, bring the hands on down. Pivot the left foot down onto the yoga mat and windmill the arms into warrior two. Go ahead and reach the right fingertips forward. Flip the right hand, bring it up and back into peaceful warrior, sliding the left hand down the leg. And then on an exhale, send the right hand to the inside of the right leg. Reach the left fingertips up nice and high. And then reach the left fingertips forward and see if you can send the right hand underneath the left, wrapping the right rib cage underneath the left. And go ahead, slowly windmill the hands on down. Bend on into the right knee. Come up onto the left ball of the foot. Take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale, come into supported warrior three. Placing the hands on the hardwood floor or taking a hold of the blocks. You can even use books. If that is accessible, taking a nice big deep inhale and exhale. From here, go ahead, slowly come to rise all the way on up. Balance posture to get into core strength, to really explore holding. So if you fall, 
just fall. It's all good. See if you can wrap the hands underneath the left knee. And then maybe you can wrap the left knee around the right leg. And balance poses are great because it helps you focus all of your energy <laughs> in this present moment. That's where we need to stay, present. See if you can send the right arm underneath the left. Taking a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead, slowly come back into warrior three. Ooh, if you fall, just fall. Come back in. Life is a struggle. When we tune on into the silence, into the stillness, that's when all the solutions come to us. And then go ahead, see if you can send the right hand down to the block. So four or half moon posture. The right hand is diagonal from that right foot. And then we're gonna maybe stack the left foot or left hip on top of the right. And if you fall, just allow yourself safely. And go ahead, step the left foot to meet the right. Ooh, come into forward fold, breathing on in. Exhale, fold. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, keeping the connection of the belly to the tops of the legs, surrendering to the present moment. Last big deep inhale. Sighing it out. And slowly release. Go ahead, bend the knees, step, or hop on back into plank posture. Send the right hand to center, come up onto the right heel of the foot. Send the hips up nice and high if this is too much. Bring the right knee on down. And then maybe everyone can lift the left foot off the yoga mat. Or maybe the left foot comes up off the right foot. Send the hips up nice and high. Inhale. Exhale. Continue to hold. And slowly sweep the hand all the way on down. Release the knees on down. Keep the pelvis nice and high. Slowly lower the heart in between the hands. Inhale into Cobra. This time, exhale, release the forehead on down to the yoga mat. Interlace fingers behind you. Melt the shoulders away from the hairs. Inhale, rise through head, neck, and chest. And then see if you can send the tops of the feet off the yoga mat. Stay here. Keep the neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Breathing in, hugging the inner thighs and towards each other. And exhaling, hold. If it is accessible from here, maybe you can bend the knees, take a hold of the top of one foot and then the other, press the tops of foot into the hands, hands to the foot, send the big toes towards one another, rise. Last big deep breath in, exhale, release. Send one hand on top of the other, in reverse Shavasana, and just windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Let go. Find some stillness. And when you are absolutely ready, send the hands to frame the heart, curl toes under, press up and back, downward facing dog. All right, guys, let's stretch out the legs as we pedal them out. Bending through one leg, reaching through opposite heel, keep rounding the shoulders towards the rib cage. When you are absolutely ready, go ahead, gaze between the hands, bend the knees as much as you need to. Step or hop on forward. Go ahead, ground down into the sit bones, ground down into the heels of the feet, sweep the fingertips forward and up, coming into chair pose. Last chair pose, lift all 10 toes off the mat, inhaling and exhale. Just hold. Just breathe. Take a nice big deep inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. 
Exhale, swim the hands all the way on down. Gently step the right foot far back, way back. Send the right knee on down. Make sure the left knee is in alignment with the hip. Go ahead, rise through head, neck, and chest. Maybe the right toes are curled under, maybe they're not. Go ahead, sweep the hands on up. Bring the first finger and thumb together. Inhale, exhale, bend on into the elbows. Sending the elbows in alignment with the shoulders. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale. Last time for good luck. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, sweep the hands on up. Reach the hands on up. And go ahead, sweep the hands all the way on down. Walk the hands towards the hips, curling the right toes under. Sending the right Knee, hip, sending the right hip over the knee, flexing the left toes, inhale. Exhale to fold. Take a hold of the blocks if you need to. Release the chin towards the chest. Breathe on into the hamstring. Surrender. Take a nice big deep inhale and exhale. And when you are absolutely ready, inhale to rise through head, neck, and chest, ground down through the right hand, sweep the left hand on up nice and high. And then go ahead, swim the left hand all the way on down. Slide the ankle underneath the knee, curl the right toes under, lift the right knee off the yoga mat. Go ahead, sweep the hands all the way on up, coming into your lunge. And if it's accessible, go ahead, see if you can send the right hand underneath or right arm underneath the left, giving yourself a hug. Or go ahead, maybe you can come into eagle arms. Inhale, reach the fingertips up nice and high. Exhale, melt the shoulders away from the ears. Two more more times. Inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in and exhale. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Engage the glute muscles. Bring the hands to prayer. Thumbs connecting to the heart. See if you can hook the right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Working the thumbs to the heart. Heart towards the thumbs. You can always release the right knee on down, but if not, you can keep it lifted. Keep working and twisting, wringing out all that doesn't serve you. Any doubts, any fears of the unknown. Honor the stillness, knowing you are exactly where you are meant to be. Last big deep breath in. And on an exhale, go ahead, release the hands on down. Pivot the right foot down onto the yoga mat and windmill the arms into warrior two. Keeping that heel arch connection, melting the shoulders away from the ears. Reach the left fingertips forward, flip the left hand, bring it up and back into reverse triangle, straightening the left leg as you send the right hand maybe to the hip or down the leg. And then go ahead, slowly send the left hand forward and down as the right hand comes on up. Snap, crackle, pop is always okay as long as there's no pain. And then see if you can send the right hand forward. Wrapping, see how I'm not curving, but I'm wrapping the left rib cage underneath the right and then sending the left hand forward. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in, exhale. Go ahead. Swim the hands all the way on down. Come up onto the right ball of the foot. I'm moving this block out of the way so you can see me. Coming to supported warrior three. Staying here, squaring the hips, and then coming into half moon. We're going into three balance postures here because sometimes silence is all about balance. And if you fall, that is okay. Stack the right hip on top of the left, reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. It's all about work. It's all about practice. And then go ahead. When you're ready, see if you can go ahead, catch the right knee into the hand or place the right foot on down and come to rise all the way on up. 
and then see if you can send that right leg on top of the left, reversing the sequence. And then go ahead, send the left arm underneath the right. Ooh, that calf muscle is talking. You can always release the right toes to the mat. Come to sit. Or you can lift the right toes off. Can you wrap the foot around the ankle? Inhale. And exhale. Ooh, breathing in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale here. Exhale, go ahead. Release. Go ahead, send the right foot all the way on back into warrior three. And then release, step the right foot to meet the left. Exhale, slowing down. To your hold of the ankles, the calf muscles. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And when you are absolutely ready, go ahead, release. Step on back into plank pose. Step the left hand to center. Come up onto the side of that left foot. Keep the hips up nice and high. I kind of love falling because again, that's why it's called a practice. Even yoga teachers fall. It's okay, it's how you get better. The key is coming back in, continuing, staying strong mentally and physically. And then maybe you can lift the right foot on top of the left, keep the hips up nice and high, breathing in. Exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead, release. <laughs> Take a nice big deep inhale. Hold your plank. We're gonna hold this plank for four breaths. I know it's challenging, but see if you can stay with it. Two more breaths, you have this. You can always back out when you need to. Last big deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, into your cobra. Exhale, take a well-deserved child's pose. Hmm. Take a moment to acknowledge all that you have done and all that you do. Take a moment to acknowledge the stillness. Breathing in. And exhale. Remembering that intelligence is found within silence within stillness and when you are ready slowly come to rise on up sweep the legs in front let's take a well-deserved forward fold let's come into buddha kanasana actually to get into the hips bend the knees and the soles of the feet together inhale to rise through head neck and chest and exhale to fold chin towards the chest Forehead towards the feet. Breathing in. Exhale. Reminding yourself that it doesn't matter how low you go. It's all about the journey. And that's what stillness is. It's allowing you to connect back with your own personal journey, not thinking too far ahead, not trying to redo the past. And with that, slowly come to rise on up. Let's go ahead, bring the knees together, extend the left leg out nice and long, cross the right foot over the left and then wrap the right, the left arm around the right knee. Sweep the right hand up and back. Inhale to rise through head, neck, and chest. And exhale to twist. Breathing in. Exhale to twist. Last big deep inhale. And exhale. 
slowly releasing the right leg taking to the opposite side crossing the left foot over the right leg wrapping the right arm around that left knee twisting sweeping the left hand up back and behind you inhale to lengthen exhale to twist keep the right foot flexed breathing in and sighing it out last big deep inhale and exhale sleep the left hand forward and down on cross come to roll all the way down onto the yoga mat hug the knees in towards the chest and then see if you can extend the feet up nice and high flipping the palms on up just sending all that energy from the feet back towards the heart and if you have your shoulder stand practice you can go ahead and use your core to see if you can Peel the tailbone off the yoga mat, send the hands underneath the lower back, walk the elbows in towards one another. Keep walking the hands on up, keep walking the elbows in towards one another, breathing it, sighing it out, maybe exploring plow posture. And just hold. Slowly rise the feet back on up, place the hands on down. Slowly lower through head, neck, and chest. Place the feet onto the yoga mat, scooch the hips over to the left, allow the knees to fall on over to the right, opening up in the heart space. Breathing in. Exhale. Bringing the knees back to center. Scooching the hips over to the right, allowing the knees to fall on over to the left. Cactusing out the right arm breathing in and exhale Slowly bring the knees back to center and come into your Shavasana, flipping the palms up towards the ceiling, allowing the feet to open. Take a nice big deep inhale into the belly, breathing on in and sighing it out. Take a nice big deep inhale into the heart space, breathing in. Sighing it out. Feel the world around you spinning or in stillness. Take a moment to listen to hear anything and everything that is around you. And just let go. Just being and observing.
can stay in Shavasana or you can begin to make your way out, your choice. And just take a moment to breathe, tuning on in to how you feel and taking a moment to thank yourself for attending or playing around with this sequence today with me, allowing this time of stillness to be clarity for you. So you can take steps closer to what you truly want, what brings you happiness and bliss, and therefore give that to everyone else around you. Have an amazing rest of your day, night, weekend. Namaste.